the high courts. There are 24 high courts at the state level. These courts have jurisdiction over a state, a union territory, or a group of states and union territories. The Madras High Court in Chennai, Bombay High Court in Mumbai, Calcutta High Court in Kolkata are the first three high courts in India. Composition Each high court varies in composition with the other depending on the size of the state where they are located. All high courts are headed by a Chief Justice. The number of judges in a court is decided by dividing the average institution of main cases during the last five years by the national average or the average rate of disposal of main cases per judge per year in that year, whichever is higher. Some large states have one or more permanent benches of the High Court for speedy justice and convenience. In remote and hilly areas, the High Courts have circuit benches that sit seasonally in different areas of the state. Appointment, Term and Removal of Judges The Chief Justice of a High Court is appointed by the President of India in consultation with the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court and Governor of the State. Other judges of the High Court are also appointed in the same manner, wherein the Chief Justice of the High Court of the State is also consulted. Judges of the High Court retire on attaining the age of 62 years and can be relieved earlier from their post on resigning. The process of removal of a judge of the High Court from his or her position is the same as that for a judge of the Supreme Court. Eligibility for Judges In order to be appointed as a judge of the High Court, a person must be a citizen of India and must have held a judicial office for 10 years or more or an advocate of a High Court or of two or more such courts in succession for at least 10 years. Powers and Jurisdiction the High Courts are the principal courts of original and appellate jurisdiction in the state above the district courts and subordinate courts. Original Jurisdiction The High Courts take writ petitions directly in cases filed under the right of constitutional remedies, fundamental rights violation or petitions pertaining to elections. Also, disputes between an individual or company and the state government are decided directly by the High Court. Appellate Jurisdiction The High Court is also an appellate court which takes us appeals against judgments of the district and subordinate courts. Supervisory Function The High Court supervises the activities of the district and sessions court as well as subordinate courts working below it. Count of Record The High Courts maintain all records of judgments and proceedings that serve as laws and cited by this district and lower courts. The subordinate courts, functioning below and under supervision of the High Court in the state or union territory are the subordinate courts, such as the civil courts, criminal courts, revenue courts, panchayat courts, low adalats, etc. District courts. The district courts have a civil court handling civil cases presided by the district judge and a sessions court handling criminal cases presided over by a sessions judge. In some places, the district judge also has a sessions judge. Judges of the district courts are appointed by the governor in consultation with the high court. Working under the district judge are additional judges, assistant judges and magistrates who are part of the district court. Revenue Court Matters related to disputes arising due to payment or collection of revenue are taken up in revenue courts. In a state, the Board of Revenue is the highest authority for revenue cases. The Revenue Commissioner, Divisional Commissioner and District Magistrate, Collector hear revenue cases at the district level. The courts of the Subdivisional Magistrate and Tehsildar take up revenue matters at the Tehsil level. Panchayat Courts The Panchayat Courts or Nyaya Panchayats provide justice at the village level. These courts try petty cases such as personal disputes, minor thefts and trespassing and can impose a penalty as a fine up to 1,000 only. 
decisions of the nyaya panchayats can be appealed in the civil or criminal courts in the districts lok adalats all courts in the country are overburdened with cases and speedy justice is usually not possible to overcome this problem and provide quicker and cheaper judicial service lok adalats were set up the first being at delhi in 1985 These local adalats are presided over by retired judges and people can directly argue their cases without advocates. Cases pertaining to electricity, telephone bills etc are settled through discussions, persuasion and compromise between people. Legal aid. In order to ensure that no citizen is deprived of securing justice due to social or economic constraints, free legal services are provided under the legal aid scheme aid is provided to people of the weaker section of society such as scheduled castes scheduled tribes women and children mentally ill and physically challenged people and people who cannot afford a lawyer fact the calcutta high court is the oldest high court in india established in 1862 the building is an exact replica of the stand hans in yepres belgium justice fani bhushan chakravarti was the first indian permanent chief justice